phrasing. Have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? Hey, it's Geek Public Radio right here on geekpublicradio.com. It's us. We're back. Right here, I'm Topher the Hairy Bastard, and with me, as always, Little Sonic, and we're here to talk to you about nerdy things and just generally have a, a random conversation, yes. as as we are wont to do on occasion. So, how was your uh, your week? Oh, it's not been too bad. Uh, it's not been too good, but not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Six to one half dozen, the other. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just trying to forget it and move on to the next one. <laughs> So, uh, well, some of the stuff we wanted to talk about today. Uh, so, Disney, we're just going to go ahead and jump right yeah, into this. Disney is going to pull all the Marvel and the Star Wars and everything, all their all their things from uh, Netflix, apparently, and start their own streaming service. Yeah, this will launch, you know, it's, it's scheduled to launch in uh, 2019. Uh, it's looking to the include, two, uh, specifically, Toy Story 2. <laughs> Or Toy Story four and Frozen two, and the upcoming uh, upcoming live action Lion King and stuff like that, and they're going to take Daredevil and all of those Mar or uh, yeah Marvel shows, even though they're Netflix original. See, I, I'm not too clear on that whether they're actually going to take those or if they're going to share them. You know, that'll be available on Netflix and available on uh, the new Disney streaming service, or what exactly they're doing with it. I know that they're not allowing any new seasons to be posted or shot that aren't that don't already exist because they're going to keep that for their streaming service. Right. So what's already existing, it's you know, it's not too clear to me now what they're doing with them. I know we're scheduled to get uh, the new Punisher series that uh, spin off of Daredevil. We're supposed to be getting that mm -hmm. on the 17th. Um, beyond that, you know, the Defenders is out there, but we may only see one season of that on Netflix and one season of the Punisher. So where it goes from there, I couldn't tell you. I'd, I'd be interested in see it. I know uh, you know everybody wants uh, everybody wants to see the new Star Wars things that are going on, and then you know the Nef the uh, Marvel. But whether because they were Netflix originals, they'll still be available on Netflix, or whether they got to give that up to Disney, it may come down to some kind of litigation. Too, I'm not sure exactly what's going on yet. I just know that at this point. Disney's one is looking at pulling them and starting their own streaming service. Yeah, I mean, just the whole fact that you know you're looking at something that you know a lot of people do have Netflix specifically for stuff like The Punisher and all all of those Daredevil and all those stuff. Um, you're looking at. They're, I guess they're banking on that idea of okay, you know, we're just gonna pull all this over. They're gonna get, we're just gonna magically have all of this stuff on it, and we'll just be done. Well, and the, the thing, the thing that they need to need to look at too, you know, um, Daredevil is not exactly a movie worthy. You know, I mean, he's as great as a series. As a series, yeah, absolutely, it's fine. I'm, I, I didn't really appeal too much to me. Uh, I didn't look at daredevil initially until after the second season had started and people were talking about how great it was how how the the punisher character that was in it was mm -hmm. the best played punisher version they'd ever seen i was like okay that i gotta look at so for all this shit to make sense i need to watch the first season too so i suffered through the first season which wasn't really too bad you know it just that's just the way i looked at it at the time i gotta go through this crap so i can get the good stuff Season one really wasn't that bad, but uh, I was wasn't really there. I don't care about Matt Murdock or anything. I wanted to see the Punisher, but I wanted everything to make sense. Right. So I get around to, uh, and I don't even realize it at first that it's John Bernthal that's playing the Punisher. Mm -hmm. And I was a little I had, had my reservations about that, but everybody talked. Oh, it's so great! It's so great! So I gave it a chance. You know what? He doesn't do a bad job. I'm still a fr uh, I'm still a fan of Ray Stevenson doing it mm -hmm. from Warzone. Not a big fan of Tom Jane at all. Dolph Lundgren didn't do a bad job, but uh, John Bernthal, I wasn't too sure about because he'll always be Shane from The Walking Dead, <laughs> and and yeah, you know, just so. But he do, he does do a good job, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm actually you know he won me over. I I was initially I was like oh god you know no it's pretty good it's pretty good I I enjoyed it, but uh, you know so now here we're we're looking at uh, we're looking at something that was created by 
Netflix. You know, these are Netflix originals. They were just given the license or what have you to create. So Netflix has spun an empire for Marvel out of all this. Mm-hmm. And now Marvel's going to try to take it over. Is there going to be some kind of, uh, you know, are, are the series going to suffer in writing or, you know, because it, it's a Netflix original, who's writing it? Is, are the same people going to keep writing it? Yeah, because with most Netflix shows, you're, uh, um, it is the, uh, it's Netflix actually putting everything together and they're, they're actually doing all the other stuff. So it's not, um, technically Marvel people. It's just Marvel, uh, a Marvel property. Yeah, well, Marvel does great for the for the movies. Um, now, Marvel also done Agents of Shield, mm-hmm. which its first season or two was fantastic. It's gotten damned ridiculous. Um, Marvel might need to back off of the idea of doing a series. I would. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of you know ah, Phil Coulson I, and all that. But I just found out. So uh, the move. Yeah. will not affect Marvel Netflix shows because those are Netflix originals. Okay. So all of those will stay. It's just the distribution of movies and they're whatever they're they're not doing. Okay, they're not, so that's that's hot, that's new, that's brand I mean that's today. That's what because I've seen it both ways. They're say they said that and then they pulled and they're like no, it is up in the air and then they said okay, well we're going to so I'm I'm seeing two different and that's that's why I thought it, it's looking like it might go to litigation. I was gonna say because uh, so far from uh, from what I'm reading, they're talking about all the all the movies, all the, all that stuff. But because it's like Netflix, uh, Netflix original productions. But it's, the uh, it's uh, there's difference there's a difference between what Disney does for distribution and what it does for, um, and this is what Forbes is saying. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if it, it didn't seem too clear because Netflix is producing it. You know, Netflix is creating and making it and all that, but it's still a Marvel intellectual property. How that mm-hmm. was all going to line out, and I mean, I just don't want the stuff to get messed up. And I'd, I'd like to have access to it. Don't really want to pay for a Disney membership. I'd rather you know watch it on Netflix. But whatever, everybody wants to make money. Another, <laughs> another sci-fi wire, I guess. I don't know. Well, no, that's, I mean, we, we talked about that before, that you're going to, it's not going to be, you know, as cost effective anymore to just stream all your stuff. Yeah. No, I mean, I I get it. I just, I'm, you know, quit messing with shit. (laughs) That's that's my thing, you know, leave it alone. But I, I understand, you know, that they want to try to maximize their money and all that, you know, they got to, you know, it's not like they don't have enough money anyway. Uh, so, uh, as of, okay, uh, as of two days ago, okay, this is two days ago, um, the, it says, uh, currently produces series, uh, like, uh, Dark Devil Punisher, but the new Marvel shows are expected to be exclusive to the, D, uh, Disney streaming service. And that's what Wall Street Journal announced. Okay, so... Say say that again. The Daredevil and all of that are Netflix originals are going to be exclusive to the, the Disney. Disney streaming. Now. So they are going to take yeah, the, the Netflix. Okay, as, as of two days ago from the Wall Street Journal, that's what they said. Okay, so then everything will be going from Netflix to Disney. Yeah, and then that means that I'm not going to watch anything because I'm not paying for another streaming service. Right. And uh, you know, like I said before, there's too many people going. You know, we'll just have our own streaming thing, and you know, we'll charge seven ninety nine, eight dollars, nine dollars for all of this stuff that you know is ours. And I'm like, well, that's fine. I'm the only reason I watched it. You know, I, I like the stuff, but is because it goes on with all of the other stuff. Well, and then you you look at stuff like that CBS All Access. They got one show that's exclusive to their streaming service, and their content ain't that great to begin with. Everything else you can watch on prime time. Who right. else gonna pay for that? Right, not me. But Fox has their streaming service too. Well, you don't have they, to pay for it though. No, as long as you're a subscriber to. Uh, well, as long as you've got TV. Yeah. Well, no. If you if you don't have cable or Dish or whatever that's subscribe that that's whatever. Yeah. Then you can watch like one or two episodes, and then but you can't go back and binge the whole right. season. Yeah. But if you you uh, you can either do. Uh, uh, just watch the individual one or two things, or you can sign in via your internet or your 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 
TV provider. Yeah. And if if they have the deal with them, then you can watch all that stuff. Or it costs you five something a month. Right. For all that, and you, with Fox, you can click Watch Live and watch what's on Fox live. Right. Whereas the CBS All Access isn't available in this area. There ain't nothing good on it anyway. I know. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know. I watch. I watch MacGyver sometimes. I watch Hawaii Five O. Watch MacGyver on Hulu. Yeah, I mean, if I don't catch it live, I'll catch it on Hulu. I mean, I don't have to well, really worry when, about when that. Well, when was the last time MacGyver was live? You know. Well, I'm talking about the the new the re the new. Uh, There's a new MacGyver. Yeah. Okay. It's on right with before. Richard Dean Anderson. There's no. Any? Oh well, see then that's not MacGyver. No, it's actually a good show. I I I, I like it. Is this that? Uh, it's got the young kid. Uh, oh, I, and then, okay. Uh, I know what you're talking from, about. That's uh, that's the one. Uh, the guy from um, Mick Mick something Mick Stone, something like that. There it was. Uh, he's a big redneck or something. And it was a comedy. I can't think of the. Oh, the truck, monster truck, comedy thing. That's what we. I can't remember. That's who the guy was. He was in uh, Lucas Till. Plays uh, MacGyver. Um, I don't even know who that is. George uh, Eads or Edis uh, plays Jack Dalton. Uh, you know George from uh, uh, C- or, uh, CSI. He was in... Uh, the they, original CSI. They really the don't things. have any new ideas for shows, do they? Like I said, I actually like because they're, they're, they've changed no, I mean, it enough to, to the, do whatever. But yeah, I mean. That's fine. It's just Hollywood's on ideas, aren't they? Has everything no, been because, done? No, because there's a lot of people who have good ideas. That's the catch-22 is you bring out something new and everybody pans it and doesn't want anything to do with it. And then you rehash the old stuff that worked, and then everybody yells at you know that says that you, there's not original. You know what they That's, need? You know what they need a uh, you need a series of hmm. the best little whorehouse in Texas. <laughs> when that happens, that's the end of television. And <laughs> I don't Bert, know, Bert is, Reynolds needs to be in it. I don't know. You know, there is that whole little uh, uh, best little. Uh, uh, there's a, the Bunny Ranch thing on uh, Showtime. Oh, I don't know. I've never seen that. But yeah, the uh, um, so yeah the uh, um, uh, Netflix and Disney. Yeah, the Netflix and Disney. they're like moving is going to cost them three hundred million dollars a year. They got that Ned Eisner's couch or couch. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So like they're making a big thing, saying, "Well, everybody will come over here for this," not realizing that there is a good chance that. You know, people just be like, I can't afford it. Sorry. I mean. I mean, I'm just not going to do it. I mean. You know, it was fun while it lasted. I'll watch whatever's on Netflix, but as soon as they come off, I'm going to have my Netflix. I, I, yeah, I enjoyed it. there's way too many other things on Netflix for me to to, to bail. I can't yeah. pay that Hulu, Amazon Prime, uh HBO now and all of the other stuff to pick up another streaming yeah. service. I mean, I'm already my my bill is higher. Well, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think our standard cable providers are thinking of this? Well, the- they've already figured out that all they have to do is if you have a, a, a large family or a, a family like more than just one person uh-huh. and streaming stuff constantly and people being in ass and all that stuff. They give you a terabyte a, a month of, of broadband, uh-huh. and they then they charge you anything more than that. Um, and if when we started doing it for like two months, we were just doing the Sling TV, and we had our our Netflix and all that other stuff, and that's all we watched. Yeah, uh, we didn't have any anything else, and we were over like five hundred gigs. A, a month, jeez, which would have cost us like another couple or like another hundred dollars. So by the time we figured out like how much we you know we stream, just like her her downstairs, 
you know, doing the thing, mm-hmm. and me in another room watching, you know, or playing games and this, that, and the other, you know, doing WoW and all that other stuff. Like, all that funneled in, we were over, and it would have cost us a lot more. So I was just like, well, screw it. I might as well, you know, it saves me money to go with the Xfinity package, like the whole fancy thing and have all that. It actually saves me money over my expenditures for going over. Hmm. And we have everything that she wanted to watch anyway. Right. Plus, they're online. We can stream their online stuff from the the Xfinity beta live television thing right. anywhere on our phones, the whole nine yards, and it not go against our data. Well, that's not bad. So we can stream from them live TV on yeah. anywhere and it not go against our data usage for the... So why you know with that you know that's fine that's awesome that's another bill that i don't have to worry about so we canceled sling we canceled a couple other things and i still pay the 99 dollars a year for amazon prime yeah you know mainly because there's a couple of my movies on there yeah (laughs) and uh there's a uh you can selfless plug that if you want (laughs) Well, yes, if all you have to do is, uh, actually, if you go to Amazon and type in Topher Chambers, you'll see uh, the one book that I have up there, and you'll see the movies and whatnot. So. You have a book up there? Mm-hmm. Does it have pictures? No. It's not a picture book. I don't believe you. I think it's a picture <laughs> book. No, actually, I have a copy of it around here somewhere. When, uh, I didn't know you could read. How did You wrote a book? Really? <laughs> Damn. All right. So, uh, but yeah, so like, you know, with that, I, I do that and okay, I, I'll be honest, a, a, a lot of the reason for that is the, uh, Grand Tour. I just love watching those guys. Okay. It's the old guys from Top Gear. Yeah. When they got fired, they came and did, did the Grand Tour for, and spent all of their budget the very first year on the very opening episode. <laughs> yeah. So... But yeah, uh, you know, so I watch them for 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 stuff like that, and uh, I mean, every year we rent some videos, and yeah, for like Halloween, we'll rent Abbott and Costello, and yeah, and all that stuff. But you know, we have fun. Yeah. But yeah, too many, too many uh, different people. You know, saying, oh, yeah, well, let's do this, and oh, yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, okay. Stream here, stream there, you know. Yeah, and then uh, you got, uh, you know, with with Disney pulling everything and, you know, putting it all back underneath one umbrella now, uh, you know, what I, you used to watch this stuff on Netflix, and now you got to go over there and watch it. And Yeah, I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's just, it's... It's just going to be a matter of time. People are going to get sick and tired of the whole streaming thing anyway, I think. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, you know, but I mean, I guess it makes sense to Disney to have all their property under one roof. And I guess I, I understand why they want to do it. They get more control over it. But something like the series, I'd think that when Netflix, you know, I, well, the they've got a certain way that they've done it. And right. I, I'm, I'm worried that Disney's going to F it up. Well, what kills me about it, though, is this. Is that you know, again? They're giving up three hundred million a year. They know that that cash is going to be there. Yeah, and they're trading that in for an unknown for an unknown quantity. Like we can we can capitalize on you know and make more. Well, what if they have a bad year off the bat and don't? Well, not not <laughs> just that, not just that, but you know, I don't know. Did they get a new financial director or something recently? Because they've kind of gone in a funny a, fun, a funny way on the new uh, Star Wars movie they're releasing in December. Have you seen that? I mean, I, I think we talked about it. We not on air or what have you, but uh, I it was it was interesting to me to drive past the uh, Alec Theater here and see that they had a up in the window that it was coming soon. I mm-hmm. wouldn't expect Alec to play it, and I'm going to tell you why. Oh no, Alec has since the new people. They are all first runs. Okay, are they willing to commit an entire month to the, just that movie? No, they they only played a week. No, they need to play it. Uh, they need to play it for four weeks. No, just I'm, that. I'm just saying that Alec only plays will, will play it a week or maybe two. No, and Disney then, says that if they want to, if they want this movie, they will give them sixty percent of their ticket sales, and they will run it in their biggest, best fucking uh, theater or or screening room. And they'll run it for a solid month, minimum. 
Yeah, but that's for a multi-screen venue. That's period. No, no, that's a multi-screen venue. That's not that doesn't fall. That doesn't that. apply to the okay. No. Oh, so, so you, single, but you know what I'm talking yeah, about. So, that's okay, a single venue. That's a single screen venue, which okay. means if they had that agreement, then they're interfering with other agreements that that business could have, and that's illegal. Well, what I had seen, well, because you can only run one movie, right? Well, what I what I had seen and heard of was that they were saying that uh, that it was it doesn't matter whether it was multi. Well, and and you you're probably right, but what what I had seen was they were talking about how, you know, that it took the like I guess the movie theaters union to get involved before because they tried it before with uh, Age of Ultron, I guess, mm-hmm. when they Which released was it. Dear. Yeah, and uh, they tried it with that, and then when that union got in, th- and it was all resolved before the movie was released. But uh, you know, the, I, I think that was more for like ticket ticket sale percentages. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, I'd, I'd seen a thing about how they were talking about it was, it had to be, it had to run, you know, in their best, the theater's best uh, setup, and it had to run for four weeks solid at minimum. Right. Well, I mean, for that's why you get them in the big, in the big, uh, the multi-screen theaters forever. <laughs> so you'll have like your new movies come in, and then you have the other movies going into uh, playing here for what how you know and they're staggered to where some of them will drop off and the new ones will come in and they have it all set up but if you have a multi a single screen non chain right like a mom and pop theater yeah the, which, is literally, which is what this is up here yeah it, it's literally an um what are they called I don't know, it was like a boutique theater yeah uh they don't qualify they're not okay because they're not going to make anywhere near the money, right? So, yeah. Okay. Well. And you know, Alec used to run only second string, you know, second tier, or uh, so. Like after everything left there, then they it was like become, a bargain theater. Yeah. You know, there was second runs. Second, yeah. Basically, so you'd have to go see it if you wanted to open in day. You'd go see it in a big theater, and then as it like two left, months later, you get it at. Uh, well, Alec. You, you get about a month later, or maybe a couple weeks after. After depending on how fast it went through right uh, it'd come in they'd play it for a weekend and then they'd move on well the last movie i remember watching up here at the like theater was uh, back in 96 and uh, we watched uh uh independence day mm-hmm. that was the last movie i seen in the theater up here so we watched the whole group watched uh um force awakens opening night up down here uh we watched rogue one down here opening night yeah. Uh, we watched uh, like half the Marvel movies here. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's the ticket price down here anyway? Still three bucks. Really? Yeah. I need to move my ass back to Ellick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still like seven dollar, and it's selling. like a dollar fifty matinee if you can get into the matinee. Shit. And you bring a bowl, and they fill your bowl full of popcorn. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> no, you bring so you bring. Your that's own. why. That, that, that's why it's so cheap. <laughs> but yeah, and they, so it's one price. You bring your own bowl, and they fill out in the popcorn and all that other stuff. And you walk in and you with your your own popcorn bowl and sit in the reclining rocking chair seats. You know. And... Hmm. Okay. But no, what I was getting at with that though, with the the Star Wars thing, it just seems like Disney's getting greedier and greedier. Mm-hmm. Maybe they got to pay for that kid that got ate by the dang alligator <laughs> at their. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, and that I couldn't imagine being that dad. But uh, anyway, uh, I I don't know. I mean, it seems like you know I know in you know, capitalist society all that you know n- enough is never enough. But at some point, you know you well, you don't you want to try to keep the fans happy. Well, yeah, but you also got to remember that. A lot of this stuff takes a lot of money to to move forward because there's a lot of you know any Marvel movie. Look at the amount of people who have their hands in it. Just right. looking at the credits alone. Yeah, there's 37 freaking uh, uh, different. Yeah, I mean you're you're uh, right. Effects I mean, companies and, and and you know better than I do because you're a filmmaker. But you know it just seems like there's a dang better, easier, more. Less convoluted yeah. way to do it, you know. I mean, yeah, not, not don't you don't know. you. You're guaranteed this amount of money. The smart play is, hey, I'm going to get this amount of money. 
let's don't rock the boat until right. we're ready to go. Not let let's not you know poke a couple of holes in the boat because we're talking about moving before whatever happens. Mm-hmm. You know, it, all they did was drop share prices, uh, stock prices for Netflix. And maybe they want to take them over. Maybe that's the maybe that's the play. Well, see, the thing is, is uh, there was talks to uh, for Disney to purchase some of the uh, Fox properties, like actually fold Fox in underneath the thing, um, which would give them back some of the Marvel uh, properties that Fox has. But those stocks are no longer, you know, they that those talks stopped. You know, this could just be the conspiracy theorist in me here. <laughs> Wrong show. <laughs> it, maybe, maybe not though, because because peep this. All right, what if what if they have pulled this maneuver to drop the Netflix stock price to have a third party come in and purchase that stock and then just try to take it take over Netflix? Because why why go through? Do they does Disney have its own streaming server? They've got something. No, but, uh, they don't. They that's, don't. That's what that's well, what then their asses are damn well getting ready to buy Netflix. That's what you they're watch. wanting to launch is, is, is in 2019. You watch. They're going to take over Netflix. Mark my words. They're they're, move, they're going to move on. I bet before the before the summer of next year is out, there's some kind of deal with Marvel, where or uh, with uh, Disney having either the lion's share or something on Netflix. There, there's getting ready to be something. You think? I, I absolutely do. Because it makes sense now. It has become clear. <laughs> clear as convoluted mud. <laughs> well, like I said, there's always there's always that uh, that possibility. But I have always said that Disney needs to go through it and move back all of you know, buy back if has to all of the Marvel franchises. Yeah. Then you know, but but you'll have people like uh, uh, Pat from the Man Cave who will just see any attempt of Marvel actually doing their own show. Like when Homecoming and all that other, you know, mm-hmm. Spider- Spider-Man Homecoming came out. He's like, oh, why do we have to do through another another reboot of this? Well, I know it's actually like Marvel getting their hands on their own property and giving you a proper Marvel Well, yeah, but he just, Spider-Man. he just shoots off sometimes. You just kind of let him go. Well, no, because he, he was mad about the uh, Punisher and Daredevil and all that other stuff rebooting for the 37 millionth time. I was like, well, Punisher, I said, this is a series. This isn't a movie. Well, it's still a reboot. I'm like, it's a series. <laughs> and see, that's why everybody feels sorry for Libby. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, <laughs> it's a comic book series. So I would much rather see it as a series than I would a movie. I know it's going to be a, a, it's going to be kind of dark, and it's definitely going to be one of the more violent series that uh, that they've run across in I don't care what any critic says. I'm not even looking at critic reviews anymore because the the past, you know, yeah, every time last you know, couple of months. I mean, well, what's funny is is you know what came out as uh, as of 2017. What is the most watched show on Netflix? On Netflix, mm-hmm. uh, Marvel show. We'll just we'll okay, say Mar- Marvel, Marvel show. show? Um, I, I don't know. I've, I watched them all, so I couldn't call it. I, I would not guess Je- Jessica Jones. <laughs> that, that uh, would not she's be... actually not the she, she's not the top, but she's not the right. Bottom. She, she's not the bottom, but I, I wouldn't guess that her being the top. I would guess it would be one of the. Well, of course, it's got to be one of the Marvel Netflix. <laughs> um, the The Defenders is pretty good, but you're talking about all year, so I'd have to say Daredevil. I mean, no Iron Fist, the one that everybody hated. Is the most watched. Well, and but, but there was such a setup for it. I mean, it, it was you know. So yeah, that makes sense. Everybody's like, okay, well, let's see what's because Iron Fist was the one. You know, we had Luke Cage was already out, Jessica Jones was already out, uh, Daredevil was already out. Mm-hmm. About two seasons of Daredevil were out. We were waiting on Iron Fist because it was the setup for right before Defenders. Right. So yeah, I absolutely get them. And now we're going to get Heroes for Hire, which is what I was waiting on. Huh? The uh, Luke Cage and and Iron Fist. Oh yeah. Okay. The yeah. Heroes for Hire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to get it, but yeah. Well, that's they they have it in the works. 
you know. It's not going to make it before. Yeah, probably. Well, not. you know what? It's okay because Disney's just going to buy them anyway. <laughs> so, you know what? This whole this whole thing's been kind of pointless. We're just I guess this was just our, uh, hey, di- just to let you know Disney's getting ready to buy Netflix. <laughs> that, that's all the point of <laughs> It's going to happen. It just. What, like, you know, they might not, but the moment they launch and realize that they're not making that money right now, they're going to the need somebody. They're going to turn around and go, hey, uh, why don't we just go ahead and, like, Netflix stocks are dropping. We can buy them out. Some dirty shit, isn't it? And turn around, you know, and then meld these two together. And what, you know, and because they realize that. It's like Infinity Ward. And- <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. Speaking of that. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's change gears a little bit and talk about uh, the little bit of shakeup in gaming, uh, video gaming, the video gaming industry, and that is uh, Respawn being Respawn Entertainment. You know, for responsible for titles like Titanfall and Titanfall Two and some of the Call of Duty games, and you know, because it was one game come out one year by one company and then well ea it's come through and and said nope there's we're gonna pay, buy them and, and they're now an ea they pulled a disney company they pulled a disney yeah so respond is no longer an independent uh game production company hmm So what do you think of them apples? <laughs> hey, why not? I mean, it, I quit playing Call of Duty years ago. I, I honestly, you know, I, I joke about the Infinity Ward and the uh, Treyarch and, and what all that crap. Mm-hmm. Uh, I quit playing. Call, I quit playing Call of Duty when they left World War II. See, I still have I, I, I played. I mean, I, okay, well, I, I take it back. As long I, as I they had play, a campaign, as long as they had a campaign, I will. I will play. Uh, yeah, I, I played. Uh, I played a little bit of Modern Warfare, and uh, I did play. You know, I, I borrowed a couple of the uh, Black Ops. And I played I like the original Black Ops and the Black Ops mm-hmm. Two. Never played three. Never whatever Advanced Ghost Recon Warfare, whatever the hell it is now. I never. I, I haven't played it since then. I just I enjoyed shooting Nazis, so you know. I haven't really played it since, that much since I enjoyed uh, Medal of Honor and Call of Duty. You know, back in the day, you know, we used to play Battlefield 1942 and right. Vietnam, and then I did play uh, Battlefield 2. But I haven't. Pl- I, I did a, a demo on some on like Battlefield 4 or Hardline or something. I mean, but, honestly, the guys, the two guys who who came through and and created Respawn. Uh, came from uh it was like vince zeppanella and uh patrick sutherland yeah um or no patrick's from ea uh, but vince uh and his partners actually came from uh infinity ward okay and they were responsible for their part of you know uh the call of duty stuff and then they started respawn and doing all this stuff um uh, they sold Respawn for um, four hundred and fifty five million dollars. Hmm. <laughs> I'm yeah. <laughs> so basically there's seventy persons who work work at the studios. Okay. That's seventy people who were put out to the games to respawn. EA paid two point two million dollars per employee. I'm for sale, EA. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm sorry, that was uh, what they did when they purchased uh, Visceral Studios. Okay. They, they shut them down. Uh, there's two hundred and five employees of respawn, and pay, they paid two point two million per employee. I'm still available. <laughs> uh, so Vince said something about the, we wanted, or uh, you know, he's got the best intentions, and and you know, they got all these stuff coming out, and uh, they're looking at a non-Titanfall virtual reality game for the Oculus Rift. Um, I'd like to try one of those one of these days. There's a, a, a Titanfall three coming out, uh, Star Wars 
stuff's coming out. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, Soderlund, which is the guy from EA, he's said that uh, we want the best games and we want to have good relationships. Uh, the Creative Freedom is still here. Dice, Bioware, mm-hmm. um, all of those that are under her, their banner mm-hmm. still pumping out stuff. So uh, now that they're adding e- Respawn with the Titan Falls and the Star Wars stuff that they already have. It opens up a lot more possibilities for them too, a little bit more collaboration than what they're used to. Yeah, it'll give them, you know, you'll probably, you'll be able to see more games come out from uh, you know, Respawn and Dice, you mm-hmm. know, and, and changing up, you know, so it'll be interesting. I don't know where does that leave? I mean, because if you have, it's like the Disney effect. If you're bur- buying up all of these competing, p- competing things, who's left in the marketplace to compete against you? Exactly. It's a monopoly. Because if you know you're looking at Disney, who owns, uh, you know, not only the Disney stuff, but uh, the Lucas Entertainment stuff and Marvel. And a few other things all thrown in. You know, they're talking about picking up stuff, for, you know, picking up Fox. And they're, you know, hopefully one of these days they'll take stuff away from Warner Brothers, you know, mm-hmm. and actually pull all that back under their banner and do it that way. I don't know. But they're talking about doing all of the non R rated stuff. So, like, Deadpool was still would be. <laughs> yeah. Fox well, Friday. yeah, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't let dead, you couldn't put Deadpool underneath Mar- on, underneath that Disney banner, and it still be Deadpool, right? Well, can't. I mean, it would come out under the Fox thing, but it would, it would still, they would have their ownership of it, mm-hmm. uh, but it'd come out through there, which means that you would see more interaction with the rest of the <laughs> Marvel people rather than like, hey, uh, so they could only afford uh, you two, huh? <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I think that's still kind of funny. I mean, yeah, they, no, that was a hilarious. You yeah. know, like yeah, so it's uh, like you can only we... afford two X Men, and they're not that great. <laughs> so, and it, but we're picking up Domino and and Cable in the next run. So yeah, but uh... so that well, that's good. But yeah, so like I said, with them picking up Respawn, that that puts. Three other the like three other game studios under their their banner of EA. So there are basically four studios in one. Yeah. And that's just the ones At that least they're, they're folding decent. under. Uh, there's some studios they've been they bought like the Visceral that had seventy people working on these games. Uh, they just straight up. Folded and absorbed them, didn't yeah, they? Pulled them in and just sh- fired everybody and closed it down. Yeah. So. Which is a great way to treat talent, you know. Right. But, uh, surprise, surprise. Oh, and by the way, uh, they're hiring. <laughs> yeah, go figure. No, uh, they are, like, there's a big thing saying, hey, we have the perfect job for you all over the respawn Oh, uh, Respawn's hiring? Yeah. Oh, maybe they can pick up those people that uh, got let go from this one. <laughs> Boy, that'd be a... <laughs> and hell, maybe that's why they done it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Especially so. if there's any kind of unionization. Oh, well, there's probably not. No, I don't imagine so. Um, it dig, it, it, EA did pick up PopCap Games for like $750 million Well, PopCap Games in, is a big in deal. 2011. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a big deal. It pumps out most of your mobile games. Yeah. But, uh... And all the freaking... Puzzle games. And bubble bubble, thing, bubble, whatever you yeah. gotta do to you know, click the... Bubble bit, or those bubble mo- witch. No, th- th- that's king. Um, I'm talking about, like, you know, where you're, like, you have three in a row and you, click the, you have to click them and they pop and, or whatever. You try to get as many of them and I don't know. Um, it's bejeweled. Like bubble sun. Yes, yes. I think that bejeweled is a pop cap game. Yeah, it is. I'm addicted and, and, to bejeweled too. <laughs> Put it on the Zen setting, level five hundred. <laughs> but yeah, so because uh, yeah, because that's the one I had on 
and I would just sit here and go do 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 mm-hmm. while I'm like on the other monitor. I have whatever playing. Yeah, it's it, like it's it's better than uh, it's better than sitting there playing solitaire. I do that a lot too. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm turning into my my dad. <laughs> the only thing he knows how to do on a computer is get to solitaire and play solitaire. What was that? That, that was me. I accidentally hit the fuse. On the uh, the plug here. Oh, okay. so everything's okay though, right? Well, yeah, that was just our head fit. Oh, so. okay, okay. So. I just want to make sure you hadn't like forgot to hit hit play or something, you know, like. Oh no, we've been we we're we're good. Well, I just remember when we were done it the other day. You know, or <laughs> it's been it's been a few months when we first started to back up. Yeah, I was like, oh, and uh, oh crap, we need to go back because uh, I forgot to hit the button. We've been talking for twenty minutes. And I ain't recorded a damn bit of it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was something else Disney done that uh, pissed or er, irritated me. And <laughs> us, I'm trying to get geared up for the FM, you know. <laughs> you know, trying right. to catch myself before I. Yeah, I'm still gonna have to pay for violations, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those are the, those are the ones that we can't because you're looking at thousands of dollars. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have somebody sit next to me with a red button every time I start talking. They just hit the damn button. <laughs> so it's like, and little Sonny says, <laughs> <laughs> he ended up sounding like, wah, 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 wah. but, uh, God, no, there was something else that they didn't what, what was it? Uh, is when we were talking about the, the movie theaters, it, it occurred to me that that was the other thing that they had done. And, uh, damn now I cannot, I cannot for the life of me think of what it was. Okay, uh-huh. but so uh, so we've got uh, we've got EA taking over Visceral, at, or uh, not Visceral. I'm sorry, Respawn. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's next up on uh, Respawn? I mean, did they, had they had another project in line besides uh, like, uh, they got Titanfall? like Titanfall three? Well, I didn't know if they had anything. They had, like, Star Wars. Uh, there's a Star Wars game. They have that non Star Wars, non Titanfall virtual reality game thing that they're they're working on through through the Oculus Rift. Uh, that type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, they're still working on things. They're still doing. Um. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and they're looking to expand. So, okay. Just makes me wish that uh, I uh, had the time to do stuff. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to learn how to do that stuff because uh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> so the uh, the Xbox One X released recently. Oh yeah, yeah. The new 4K Xbox. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I guess there have been some issues, and I don't think it's an issue with the Xbox itself. I think it's an issue with the, you know, like TV compatibility. Um, I guess a lot of these 4K TVs don't have all of their HDMI spot or HDMI ports mm-hmm. aren't all 4K, and you actually have to go in and off and turn on the 4K. Apparently. Oh yeah. yeah I was looking at some message boards, some uh, like on. Uh, uh, I was looking at some Xbox and uh, uh, little groups and things like that, and people were having issues with being able to play 4K games. Some of them, they're like, "Well, you know, if it's this brand, com- this brand TV, you got to go in and enable 4K on your games and jump through a shit ton of hoops." So, you know, what? I don't really don't care. I have to stick with my one. I don't have the money for, to get a oh, I'd like to have special four K. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to have a four K and a four K TV and all that. Well, I but, have one. It's well, in the yeah. living room. Yeah, but so you should get you the know. Xbox One that goes with it. No, why not? <laughs> because I don't have the money for that. Those Xbox Ones are about the same. Are the are about the same price as what I paid for that I, TV. I think they're running three ninety nine. That's about what I paid for that TV. Well, see, <laughs> what you do is you sell your old Xbox and you get a new Xbox One X. Yeah, we tried yeah. that once before. Like, oh, so I'll sell this and then I'll use that money to do whatever, and then something happened. Well, see, you you don't you don't do it that. It's not like if something happens, it's like you sell it, you take the money, you go to the store, you buy the new. Right, but between then and there, like the car breaks down, and I have to use that money to get then the you car call fixed. somebody for a ride. <laughs> it's dedicated money's dedicated money. 
So he's like, oh crap, now I, I have this money that we can play, you know, whatever, you know. I've sold many of things with the idea of, and that's how we got the Xbox 360 to begin with. Yeah. You know, the Xbox One to begin with. Um, I had the 360 uh, doing whatever. Uh, her computer broke down. I sold a few odds and ends to uh, get the money to buy her a new laptop. Yeah. And did it turn around and uh she the guy who was there we had set amount of money and the guy said well that's not really enough ram for you to do what you want it's the same ram as the computer that she cooked by sticking it on a pillow on her lap yeah uh (laughs) the uh uh so like when like she he talked her out of it, and I was like, "So you, you're not going to have a, a computer?" I said, "Because this is the money we have. We have no extra money." He kept trying to talk her into the bigger one. I said, "We don't have the money." Period. Yeah. Point blank. So you just talked yourself out of a sale. Way to go! <laughs> and she's like, well, and "So we walked over and talked to somebody. Like I'm walking through. I said, "Well, you know what? If you're not getting this, I'm getting me a damn Xbox." Yeah. Because this was for your laptop. You don't want it. Well, we'll get this, and yeah, I'll have something to play while the, you know. Since she made me sell all my stuff, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hey, you know. But we ended up getting her a new laptop, and I got a new. Ended up building a new desktop, and then she got my old desktop, and now she doesn't even mess with the laptop. I don't even think I can find the charger for the laptop. <laughs> it's just the way things go. She's like, I like the. Da- I got two monitors. I can watch like cops on one monitor and play WoW on the other. <laughs> you know, I've never really needed two monitors. I only do one thing at a time. I don't. I'm well, like I mean, I can. I can do. Multiple. Well, yeah, I can do more than one thing at a time. But you don't need two monitors. You can do everything on one. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, you can. No. No, you see, that's the that's the thought process they had down there at that call center that you could, you had to have more. I could do the same work on one monitor than I you can do on five of the monitors. Now I just don't have it spread out all over everywhere. <laughs> I got tabs at the bottom. You just go between your tabs. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, I mean, everything that I do, I literally have to be able to see everything that I'm doing, moving from one item to the other. So if I'm like film editing, I have to have my video output well, hot, big enough for me to to be able to see where my edits. That's you know. fine, but I'm just saying you don't need. You know, you could do the same job on just one monitor. You don't have to have two monitors. Oh, it would make me like it would take me like thirty-seven times, and it would not. Be but you can still do it, right? Not. It is possible to do it with just one monitor. Not for that. Not with the same quality. But it's possible quality to do counts. it. Quality it's counts. Quality counts. Possible. Not look at sci-fi. It's possible <laughs> to do it with just one monitor, right? And that's how you get sci-fi. James. Yeah, you but know. it is possible for it to physically. Yes or no? Is it physically possible? It is to physically do the, possible, but it is to the point that it, I I would get angry and not do it no, because have, I could. Chrissy hissy. No, I'm just saying. Take like, a breath. If you're like, if I'm turning around and doing all this stuff, and I'm going back and forth and doing what, if it, but it is gets, physically possible. It would, I would stop working on things if I. Only but had it one is monitor. physically possible. No, it's not physically <laughs> possible to have two programs open and do the same. No, uh, yeah, it's two programs, but well, that's I, what I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about I have six programs open anytime I'm film editing. I'm because I'm working on the sound. I'm working on the film. I'm working on uh, Photoshop. To try to get all. Of no, the, you're the not. You're stuff. playing. You're playing solitary. You've already <laughs> said you were. No, but I okay. Only but, need okay, let me, let, me, let me put if, it this if way. If all then. I did was play video games, then yeah, I, I could do it on one on one. Monitor. That's what I'm talking about. Let's put this. But I don't. You don't need to watch. Games. You don't need to watch cops. And wow, that's weird. What just happened to my headset? <laughs> you're getting loud. It, no, no, it's not that. It, it's like it, no, both can, the both the. Yeah, it's the adapter and the the head, my or the headphone amp the adapters in it don't quite fit so it'll it kicks it over into we we can't get head i can hear myself through both heads both ears now that's the yeah well it's because the adapter size is just a little off but we're not moving it well no it's when you get loud it kicks it in i have no idea why 
Because when you when you start to get loud again, it'll go back out. It's and crazy. You, it's see just like that. Yeah. Okay. It's well. crazy. I know. But you need two monitors, and we can't even get equipment for that. <laughs> once a per- <laughs> now, where no, I was because, going before that, that before the technical issues that we're having, you know, ironically only, enough, derailed me was that if if you were if you were watching cops and playing WoW, you could you only you really only need one screen to do one thing at a time, you know. Plus, there's a TV on the wall. Yeah, I'm just being difficult. Anyway, no, well, I know. But that's what I'm saying is that's why I was being difficult because I run. I, I I'm not somebody who just plays video games and watches. You know, unless I am to the point where I'm exhausted and had have to do something to to wind down. Yeah. Then I'll put something on one screen and and I'll play solitaire because there is no TV in here. Right. Um. But I'll do that. Well, you got like, two of them right there, but you know. Yeah. But they'll be just so I'm like, <laughs> do whatever and then go to bed. Um, but normally I'll have my video editing stuff. And then when I had the third monitor, that would be where my audio record stuff, yeah. I would drop it down. I'd pull up my Photoshop to make sure that all my cover, my, all my um, uh, individual mark pieces were, were looking yeah. good. And I had flipped that over to uh, After Effects and do all of my vision, like visual effects stuff through After Effects and make sure that, and then I kick back to sound to make sure the sound is, you know, right with the stuff. And then I'm back to editing and make sure my edit points are, are good and all of that stuff. And by the time, if I had to do that on one monitor, I would quite literally quit. Cause I there, don't say that too loud. Heather will bring them in here and break that monitor. <laughs> well, no, it's the only money we bring in. She's like, "Oh no, you need like five more monitors." Okay, five monitors would drive me crazy. Three monitors was about perfect for what the video stuff. Yeah, and I'm still like moving, putting this down, bringing this up, and when I write, because I write off of. Uh, um, like I'll write my treatment, and then I'll move my treatment over to another thing, and then I'll start writing the script. Yeah. And as I'm script writing, I'm constantly looking back over here, as you know, to see where I'm at in the treatment yeah. and what I need to move next, so I can. And when you derail that train of thought by going, oh, I gotta go down and go up and go down and go up. I've I've lost the train of thought, and that script goes. It was like and and. My, I, huh? <laughs> That's where I got like half of the scripts that it, like I've started and got all the way to the end, and then had some kind of glitch where I had to spend more time looking at something, trying to like do the going back into the research to make sure I'm I'm squared away with it, and then I lost completely the whole flow of where I was at, and right. never been able to get back. Then you'd need like eight screens. <laughs> Just saying. No, like I said, three is or three is perfect. I always anyway, wanted. I always wanted this the this for fits and jiggles. Um, the uh, um, oh, uh, from uh, Stingray, no Swordfish. That computer the with all the monitors that are. Oh hell! I had to used. I used to have to watch one of those things. They're they're not bad. I mean, while I was watching cameras, but. Uh... It's yeah, like, imagine like having that many monitors, and I lose the mouse sometimes on three monitors. <laughs> yeah, nine monitors. I'd be like, "God oh, crap, where's it at?" <laughs> that's when you just take and drag to the bottom right. <laughs> Hopefully, that's. I mean, that's what I have to do now. I'm like, okay, and uh, cause I'll be like, well, uh, there it is. <laughs> but yeah, so. To each their own. Everybody has their own level of what they do. Yeah. Some are more complicated with stuff. Like if I was coding web pages, it's a minimum of two. Because I'm coding here and watching my output. Yeah. And as I make changes, my output changes. So it's, you know, in real time. You know. So that's where I picked, that's where I started with the, the dual screen. Yeah. Because I don't know how many times I'd start making changes and you know whatever, and then I'd have to flip over to back to what the output looked like, and then I'm like, oh, we just pulled a man cave. 
Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking, like, so anyway, I guess there was those problems with uh, <laughs> Xbox, and they're not really problems. They're just kind of like, you know, hiccups. Hiccups. But other than that, I guess, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind having one. They have one of them Xbox One X or Scorpio or whatever the hell they're called on it. Hey, you know, if somebody wants to give one to me for free. Absolutely. I will I will take it. We don't have the money to buy one, so. Yeah. Well, Unless think, you would I like to sponsor like... the show. If you want to sponsor, if you're listening <laughs> and you want to sponsor the show. We've yeah. gotten better as of late. I think this is one of our first meandering uh, well, that's just because I was poking the bear. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the only first meandering shows we've had in a while. Well, um, we could cut all this out too, you know, and go back to <laughs> we cut all the meandering out, and you're like, ah, well, we got way off topic there, and argued, and I just yeah, cut but, it out. And, yeah, but uh, you know the drama is, you know the, the you gotta have the drama. Man, I try to avoid the drama. <laughs> well, I'm talking about like you know, no, oh, the, like not a. Uh, not the drama that happens in our daily life, you know, okay. like theatrical drama. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> anyway. Should you get my big ass an Xbox One X and I'll I'll put on like a like a what what, what is it the it's not the Grammys, it's not the Emmys. What is it? What what's the damn award? Oscar, that's it. <laughs> Oscar worthy performance, like best drama. Like, oh, I just always wanted it. Thank you. <laughs> I always, I always depend on the kindness of strangers. Mister Beauregard, I do declare, I always <laughs> depend on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> or some shit. Hell, I don't know. Well, you're the one that remembered it. Did I get it right? I have no idea. Because I don't know where the hell I picked it up from, man. I got I got useless knowledge just rattling around in the back of my That's head. That's okay. I told somebody that as we're getting ready to, to get off here and, and, and bid you all a fond adieu, um, I'm, I, when I cast for films, I yeah. always look for the person who, when we do a sound check, is able to do... Um, I am the model of a modern major general... Uh, that whole thing for their sound check. Shit, shit, how'd that go? I am the model of a modern major general, animal, vegetable, or mineral, or something or other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like if you can go do, 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 and do the whole patter, the whole patter uh, thing for at least for the first thing, uh, the first verse or the first uh, stanza or whatever it's called. What I just said, basically? Well, no, but the whole thing. Oh, yeah, like, shit, I don't know the whole thing. It's got, like, two more lines after after that to... Well, that's too much. Uh, <laughs> then I will pay them double. <laughs> to, Maybe that's not too much. <laughs> Your ass don't pay me now. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> this has been... You that drama you were talking about? <laughs> this has been Geek Public Radio right here on geekpublicradio.com I am Tover Little Sonny and we will see you next time